On a beautiful day like today, why would you think about anything else but cleaning the outside of your house? You see, here in Canada, we love our warm weather, but we don't get too, too much of it. So spring, winter, and fall, we're typically complaining about the non-summer-like weather. So in this video, I am honoring this wonderful season of summer and sharing with you some great outdoor cleaning tips. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if, like me, your favorite season is the summer. Today, I have a quick favor to ask you if you are someone who runs or you want to run a cleaning business. Over the years, thousands of you have contacted me asking if I can share information about how to start and how to run a cleaning company. And we've really put our minds to this and now we're considering putting together a step-by-step -step resource that teaches you how to start and run a cleaning business. And I'll get to share with you all of the tips and information and strategies that I've employed to have a successful business over the past 12 plus years. In order to make this really useful for those of you who are interested, it would be super helpful if you could take some time and answer a few questions for me. That way, it's exactly what you're looking for. So if you are thinking of starting a cleaning company or you already have one and you wanna get through some of those challenges and take your business to the next level, please do me a favor, fill out that survey. It's three minutes max. I've got a link for you in the description box down below. And now let's get to the actual video. Gardening tools like cleaning tools, no surprises here, only work well if they're actually clean. So when you're done using your gardening tools, give them a quick scrub with an iron handled brush. What you're looking for here is something with a nylon bristle. You don't wanna use anything that might scratch the tool. You just wanna make sure that you're brushing off any dirt. If it needs a rinse, you can certainly do that as well. But the most important thing here is to make sure that you're not storing those tools when they're wet because if you do, they will rust and then they're gonna suck. So just make sure that you give them a good clean and a dry. And if you do notice any rust on them, you can lay them out flat in some dingy part of your home. I don't know, the garage floor or something like that. Spray them with vinegar, put paper towels over the metal parts of the tool, spray that with vinegar, leave it for about two to four hours and then remove the paper towels, see your beautiful tools. And if there's any leftover rust, you can sprinkle some baking soda on top of them and give them a quick scrub with a cleaning toothbrush just to remove any of that rust. Then rinse them, dry them, and remind yourself to never store them wet again. When the warm weather hits and the sun starts streaming through your windows, one of the first things you might say to yourself, I know this happens to me, is, oh my gosh, my outdoor windows are disgusting. And there's a really quick fix for it. It just comes down to actually doing it. And that is, get yourself a double-sided squeegee, a bucket filled with hot water, a squirt of dish soap, and a cup of white vinegar. Dip your squeegee in there and use this fluffy side to apply all of the product onto the glass and then flip it around and use this blade to remove everything top to bottom, quick swipes. This whole job, whole job, takes about a minute per panel of glass and is so high impact. This tool is such a lifesaver when it comes to cleaning outdoor windows. We do have a video on this. I will link that for you down below. And I do want to mention for those of you who are inclined, I am not, uh, you can also thread an extension pole into here and you can do your upper windows again, if you're so inclined. But this tool makes your outdoor windows look phenomenal. One of the skills I have learned as a recovering slob since starting Clean My Space is to pick things up as I go because I am so habitually programmed to just throw things around and leave them where they are and not see a mess. I have had to reform myself and now I know to pick things up as I go so that I don't have a trail of mess left behind me. Well, I'm taking the same concept and I'm applying it to my outdoor space as well. So whether we see garbage or we see a weed or something that a disgruntled neighbor has thrown on our lawn, which for the record has never happened, but it could, we make a habit of picking those things up so that we don't see a mess. And the more you can just keep on top of that stuff, the cleaner your outdoor space will look. Here's an outdoor job that is not gonna put a smile on your face while you're doing it, but will make you feel like a little bit of a better person inside after it's done. And that is cleaning those garbage and recycling bins. They get disgusting, and that disgustingness is multiplied in warm weather. In fact, you with your garbage drippings and your garbage juices and the crusty garbage and all the stuff that's stuck inside of those bins will attract pests. And I'm not talking about pesky next door neighbors. I'm talking about four-legged, six-legged, a hundred-legged, 
things that creep and crawl that you never want to know exist. So all you have to do is clean those bins. I would recommend using gloves personally or asking Chad to do it, which is typically what I do. But put those gloves on, get yourself some dish soap. That's pretty much all you're gonna need to clean it. And then get yourself a good iron handle scrub brush and give the inside a good quality, high elbow grease scrubbing. Then rinse it out and leave it in the sun to dry because when it's left in the sun to dry and it doesn't reek, nothing gross is gonna be attracted to it. If your patio consists of more than a barbecue and stones, you probably have patio furniture on it. And if it's been sitting out for any period of time or even sitting in storage, it probably needs a good clean. Go ahead, just go ahead. Let's continue. Any of your outdoor patio furniture that does need a cleaning, you can do one of two things. If it's upholstered, you can check the fabric care label and see if the item is machine washable. If it is, throw it in the wash, follow those instructions. That will save you some scrubbing. But anything else, and we have a video on this, I will link it for you down below. All you have to do is get yourself a bucket filled with some hot soapy water. Again, you might want those dish gloves and you also want a high pressure hose or pressure washer if you can get your hands on one. Then give all of your furniture a good scrubbing whether it's plastic metal or upholstery even uh, an outdoor rug or an umbrella all of that stuff can tolerate this type of cleaning give it a scrub rinse it with that hose or pressure washer and then leave it out in the sun to dry now don't sit on the stuff while it's wet but once it's dry definitely sit on the stuff and have a drink all of the products that I mentioned, as well as the videos that I mentioned, we will link for you down below. And that brings me to this week's comment question, and we could not decide on just one, so we actually have two. The first one is, when you're sitting on a patio, what is your favorite drink to have? I gotta tell you guys, a nice classic lime margarita is mine. Close second would be a glass of bubbly Prosecco. And the second question is, if Chad were to come to your house to clean something, what would you have him clean? I can vouch from first-hand experience, he's actually quite good at cleaning. So, you know, take full advantage. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about our Maker's Clean microfiber cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>